Good night, everyone. Today is Wednesday around 11 p.m. New York time, and we're going to go with the Daily Technical video today. Guys, uh, after going over uh, the whole, I mean, the whole market in the uh, London all day, in other words, all the four hours and one hour chart, we, got, we have dropped the conclusion that the risk trade, it was damaged today. I mean, it was damaged in the idea that there were serious move in in the matters that the move powerful. In other words, we saw I don't we don't I don't like the idea of what Cooper Cooper is doing. I understand that it can be a flat and that still is our principal count, but it's there. Also, oil set off pretty good, uh, pretty hard today. The same with gold. So, at this stage, uh, we're still gonna keep uh, the bios that a bounce in favor or risk is coming. Uh, but we're gonna, I mean, we are gonna be like this. We know that the bounce in favor of the risk trade is coming. We still favor the S and P to the highest prices, but I want you get I want you guys to pay. Uh, I mean, I want you guys to pay a good attention to the charge tonight. We were very deep into the charge, and we have decided to place the market in most of the pairs to the idea that we are win within the seaway of within the seaway of a Y way or eighth of the A way within Y. In other words, I know it's very complicated. This is the dollar index. We are in the W, we are in the S. Technically we're gonna need at some degree we're gonna de a need an A right here that goes like this. That's what I mean. We are ending, but this is going to be W because it's a three way. So technically, we're going to be ending W there. If you notice, this W is different. to this W because it have a different degree. This will have one parenthesis, this one this one here has two. So technically I know that we end in a, a, a three way move right here that should end in the dollar case between 80, 81 or 2, 81 50 area. Right now the dollar is trading at 80 50. Uh, so that's 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 what we see on the dollar and that's how we're gonna go now let me explain everything right here or what how we see the count we see the count like this one two three four five like we spring today a two and then one two one two one two three four and according to this count we need one, two more highs in the dollar according to this count. We need two more highs in the dollar. Now, let's move on with it and then what's going to happen after is going to be the bounce that we are expecting. All right? Now, let's take a look at the dollar in one hour. And this is all you need to care, guys. Look. We have one, two, one, two, possible. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Can be the case that this is a whole one move with an extended fifth way right here. If that's the case, the dollar anyway is going to decline, I believe, in London at the beginning to an area between 80, 20, extension 79, 85. And then from there, the dollar is going to bounce higher again. This is a very well 
in poor way and the Dora should get more legs to the upside like I say between 81 or 5 8150 in extension 8203 the dollar should find the final support right there or resistance now that's for the dollar let me get back to copper now uh, we were following three indices that give you a higher degree of confidence about the bounce on the trade on the risk trade we were we talking about copper s p and Aussien. Now, out of the three, copper sold today. It sold pretty hard. And only a flat when you have A, B, C, A, a three way here in a flat, and then another move higher can make the case a steer and copper for a uh, for like I say, a higher risk. An eternity is a, a bearish triangle when we have from here A, B, C, D, E, and lower, also supporting a recovering risk. That's the case in copper. Now, let's, let, let me show you oil pretty fast. Oil short very hot today also you're gonna see let me see what is oil right here and then oil at this stage you have two scenarios either this is S and then you got one two one two which I have my question about this part right this part right here one two and that declines otherwise is the flat this is the bearish one when you have one two one two and then you have right here another one another two and lower the other scenario is that you have ABC right here you have ABC right here three backs and then you have A B C W or A B C W a flat here and lower but I would say that it should trade lower for the next at least two more lows and that's the reason why we close the dollar cat because if you know that the cat is gonna get the oil is gonna get weak how are you gonna be long short dollar cat so in other words let's wait for oil to define which way is gonna go and then from there uh, and then from there we we're gonna see which way the cat trade should go alright now let's move on pretty fast to the individual pairs Okay, on the individual pairs, we're going to start with the dollar index in the daily basis. I want you guys to understand for once and for all how we stand now because things have changed a little bit and I really do want you guys to understand. Well, this is where we are. What do we have on the dollars and the lows? We have one, two, three weeks, right? This is W there. Then what we have here, we have, this is a clear fire, remember guys? This is a clear fire right there. When we have back, three backs that went to the 50% back, and then from there where you have a possible leading diagonal, five ways here, three backs, and now we need to finish this. The target should be around the trend line the target should be an area between like I say in the video between at the highest 80 is gonna end a cycle and then it's gonna be around 8169 area should be the target and extension 8289 now 
Usually these double zigzag structures, they run within the channels. So I would say that 8170 is a great sell in the dollar. So in other words, you guys need to be bullish the dollar until proof you run around that area. All right? Keep that in mind. And I already explained to you guys the idea here. So we're expecting at least two more highs to get to that area before we go in lower. Now, let's move on to the to the S and P. Let's move on to the S and P. And I was thinking during that day that the S and P can extend a little bit to the downside. I don't know. S and P can be. I don't know. It's kind of it's getting complicated. That's all I have to say, you guys. Today there was damage within the S and P. I'm sorry, within the risk trade. For now, I see, like I say on on the forum today, I see that five ways from these areas that come into the end, and either it's gonna make the case for. I mean. It can extend in a way of a triple six A. This looks corrected. This looks clear. The monthly and the weekly charts are calling this move to be, I mean, to be a correction. And and we still are expecting a lower dollar soon. Looking at the charge right there on the daily. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the charge on the daily dollar. Now, I want you guys to understand these things right here. This extra count, which is possible. And why do I say that? Because every move right here to the downside is being, uh, is being a five-way move. And sometimes this market tend to do the unexpected discount is valid is completely completely a valid count when you have one and you have a flight a flat two and the S&P can drop I mentioned that today and leave everyone waiting when account becomes so popular and I was telling DV about it that everyone in Twitter everywhere I don't know now it looks like it's bullish S&P. When that happens, usually it tends to, the market tends to negate the, ne it, it negate the count. And sometimes that happens and, that, and that's not good. Believe me, guys. Those popular accounts on Twitter and all that stuff, that's not good in any meaning is good so keep that in mind because I don't know I got something same 5 p.m. to here that I mean I don't know I can explain to you guys but for now let's keep playing as more the, the, the dollar count is very clear and we believe that let's not think about big swing, big swings. Let's think about small swings, like 80, 100 pigs, and let's live with it to see what happens. Is the rally happen to the outside? Good. We're gonna ride it, the the dollar to the outside. But what it matters the most is that the setup. I mean, the cycle. Let's say in the euro that started at 135.47, in my humble opinion, is coming to the end with two more lows. Now, still, my favorite count in the S&P is this one, and I don't mean by any change that we change the bias. All I say is that I'm a market correlation, guys, and when I see the corporate share, it kind of... <clears throat> made that things in my mind. Still, this is my favorite count, and still, 
I see the S&P going to 1340 and it makes sense because we are expecting a rally in the dollar into the S way it makes sense believe me guys it makes sense so let's not run before we walk now let's take a look at the euro and for that let's move on to the daily charge this is what I mean on the euro we believe that we are ready either in let, let's take a look at the weekly one second it's better for you guys not this one the other one uh, so many charge okay right here this is how I look at it in the case of the euro I believe that we have two choices this is the D way I don't like the idea that the market passed above the 618 of the D way without any bounce of any meaning do not look for that so that's not good and remember we have two counts in the in these two counts one that calling for the move to end and we gotta be ready maybe we are I mean this declines here was in a three-way so you don't need a five and I have two counts the first one is that with ending right here a and then it's gonna be back in three and then another leg down to end the proposal D way on my triangle now that's one count I know that we end in three ways here very soon I know that for sure that we end in three way there very soon now the other count on the euro is this one right here and like I say about two minutes ago this one score for the move to be over here that's B way already and now the market is looking already for the 114 now let me say you something guys the market this decline is in three way and maybe what we ending soon is the A way is gonna do something like this that happened also in December I remember very soon a minimum bounce and then the market is gonna be in the set off because in this lead is when the S&P is gonna be riding also that scenario I don't know it's making a lot of sense late it I mean it's making a lot of sense that's all I can tell you that scenario is making a lot of sense also that we ending the we are it's like we are right here we are ending this right here now and then the B way is gonna be the bounce on the B way is gonna be the bounce in the S&P and remember the S&P needs to drop in five the euro is more shopping the S&P needs to drop in five if that the case then they're gonna get together in the C way right here all right that's for the euro and the dailies and the weekly now in the in the four hour there is what you guys care the most we are placing this one as a favor even though the other one the one that we did the video can be the case but if that being the case it needs to rally tonight not tomorrow tonight now this count comes like this it comes like one two three four five like we're playing today three backs and then a nest right here and then from there three four three four five at least two more loss two more love right there 
before this bound in the B way. I'm putting it here like it is a D, but I can make the case that is the D way, the one that can be taking place right there. So we gotta be careful. So finally, let's take a look at two pairs. The S and P in an hour. This is what it means. So far is corrective. You have A, B, C, A, a B, and then you got the five way here. When this leg W become a flat, and then you have three backs, and then you have a, B, C. All these are five weights. And that's my whole point. That many five ways made the case for the bearish S&P. Now, I want to point out a detail that nobody has said. Is This is the detail. That this lead here is very important. Because the only way that you can make the case that this is bearish is if you take a look and make this a bearish triangle like this and then you make one two three four five and trust for the triangle and guess what that cannot be possible this is a five-way swing here so for now nothing has changed the S&P is telling me that tomorrow is gonna be another low and very clear after that low it comes a bounce so that's why I say the last low or high in the dollar within the cycle that is for sure in my opinion is the one that we're gonna get it tonight after tonight we gotta be careful with it because it cannot be so clear like it is today so be careful we're planning to send a long a short dollar a short a short euro trade but like i say after tonight the market get a little complicated all right now finally let's take a look at the norwegian crown in a one hour A clear structure guys look one second a very clear structure here where we have We have this. We have what happened with this is in no shot. We have one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, three, four. Now this pair should trade lower to five ninety three, higher, another low and another high. And like I say, the whole market, most of the whole market is calling for a three way another two more loss in the dollar I'm sorry two more highs in the dollar but I don't want to chase the last one I feel comfortable to sell this one or to buy this one because as you see a big structure here a big way this is important so at least we need one more high but after that one the other one is questionable all right so that's what I have to say. See you guys tomorrow. I hope that you guys understand the whole overall market. Thank you.